Mark from Over Rock Television. We're here in Katie Daly's next door to the uh, historic Limelight Club in Belfast. We're in a couple of hours, literally, Trivium are going to rip the roof off the place. Pleased to say we're joined by Paolo, bass player from the band. Yo. Welcome back to Belfast. Thank you. It's Good been a while since you've been here, but my yeah, reckon on about eight years. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah. Crazy. I don't even remember the venue we played the last time. It's Mandela there. Hall, it was in a basement That's of Queen's Street. Right, yeah. yeah. I reckon it was the yeah. Showbone tour, wasn't it? Huh? Was it the Showbone tour? Yeah, that was the last time we were here. It's nuts. So what took you so long to get back here? I don't I mean, know. It was weird. We hadn't like we hadn't been back to Ireland in like a long, long time, pretty much since that tour, and then like two years ago we played Dublin again finally, and then finally we were able to kind of get back on a normal schedule of you know, coming to Dublin and Belfast both, so we're stoked. We don't want to go another eight years without playing here. <laughs> yeah, there can't be many better places in the world though to start off a tour than the end yeah. of the Ireland. Yeah, I mean, this, is, this has been perfect. We had a few days off, so we were just kind of... We rehearsed one day and we've just been kind of hanging out, drinking a lot of beer. It's been good. Not <laughs> a good Guinness. Yeah. Filled yeah. up the iron level. Yes, the, definitely. The I am full of iron right now. Yeah. So. First night, of course, was Dublin last night. Sold yeah. out there. You're sold out here in Belfast. Yeah. <laughs> Mental down in Dublin, like, aren't they? Yeah, I think it's going to be um, going to be a competition between the two cities, though, because... Yeah, we're I even think. more mental up yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, last night was crazy. And tonight's going to be crazy because we haven't been here in eight years. So there's a lot of... Uh, Tension built up the eight years we haven't been here, so I think it's gonna go off. It's gonna be crazy. It's been a, the, it's been the eight years in between. Been quite a, a few changes with the band, and, yeah. and quite a traumatic time, particularly on the uh, revolving drum yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a sort of bit like Spinal Tap. Really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, You're going through drummers that are Spinal really Tap. Nuts. Spinal Tap is more of a documentary than a comedy. I think <laughs> you start to realize as you tour long term, like all of the stuff in that movie. It's a lot more accurate than I think most bands are willing to admit. Mm. You haven't managed to kill any of them? Or no, no, they, they, don't yet, blow like. up. they haven't blown up yet, thankfully. Of course, it's uh, the, uh, the first couple of dates with the, the new guy behind the kit, yeah. Alex. Last night was the first show ever with him, which was crazy. I know it's, it's very early days, but through rehearsals and stuff, yeah. you had worked with him before. How has he fitted into the overall band? I mean, like, as a player, I mean, the best, probably the best guy we've ever played with. I mean, not... Definitely not like uh, any hy hyperbole there. I mean, he's a solid player. We knew him from other bands. Uh, he played with our friends in Battlecross, played on their last record. And he had worked with a friend of ours named Mark Lewis, who's a great producer in Florida, friends of ours. And he's like, hey, Alex is available. You know, he, he would be a great fit for you guys. And Alex sent us a video like a day after that email exchange between him and Matt. Sent us rain, sent us until the world goes cold, flawless. Um, and he came down a couple weeks later, and we played for three weeks just to make sure, you know, this was going to be a good fit to do this tour with us. And you know, it's it's been great. He's a super nice dude, and he and he's really chill. Everyone seems to like him. And I mean, last night was unbelievable. It felt it felt weird because we've only played our first show last night, and it felt like we've been playing together for a long time. So that, that's a good thing. Good sign. Yeah, good, good, good. You know, there's no tension there. There's no, no. is he going to fuck up? Or? No, I mean, that's definitely a nice thing to not have to worry about. I can worry about my own, my own fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's very few of those. Yeah, try to keep them to a minimum. <laughs> So it's the, the first night of the of the European the tour. Um, obviously, it's the first time fans over here will have heard songs from the new yeah. album. So what, what can we expect from the show in terms of the balance of the songs? I mean, we kind of... I mean, since this is the first like major headliner tour we've done on the record, but it's also the last of uh, this album cycle, we kind of... We didn't go too heavy on the new stuff. We did like three new songs, and the rest is just kind of a mix of all the different older back catalog tunes. And I think it was a little bit heavy ascendancy stuff as well. You know, I think with Alex, he's a pretty monster player, so we wanted to kind of see what he could do and bust out a bunch of fast stuff. So it's a, always a good excuse to, to play it fast. <laughs> of course, when the band gets to the stage of career, you you yeah. have so many albums on your belts. So you you really got to play with the fans on the here. Yeah, really, it's a good you? mix. I mean, we've been thankfully we've been lucky to have made albums that you know it seems like fans. You know, obviously there's certain albums that are like particular fan favorites that's like unanimous across the board, but. Uh, 
people seem to love different stuff from different records. And, you know, when we play shows live, we can play a pretty mixed bag of stuff, and people seem to enjoy everything across the spectrum. And it's good for us to see that, like, yeah, you know, even though every record's been its own thing, when it comes together live, you know, it, it seems like it works very well, and people like that. Uh, and you have certain of a, a, a rabid fan base, yeah, especially, especially especially here in Ireland. So you're about to do quite a lengthy European tour, and you're saying it's the last part of the tour of the cycle yeah. for the for current album. So what what comes after the, the after this European tour, as far as Serbian is concerned? Uh, definitely taking a break for a little bit, um, and then we'll get into some new music and kind of discuss where we want to go next and what we're going to do long term drums and all that stuff so you know just kind of taking everything slow and enjoying this last this last tour and seeing how everything goes and I think you know the last tour you do for a record cycle can really carry into the recording so we're going to try to take the energy and enthusiasm from the fans here and bring it with us into the next thing whatever that is do you use write while you on the road uh, we used to but we now it's pretty much just everyone writes off tour and we get a lot more done and we fill the in between tour time with either writing or rehearsing and it seems to work better like when we used to write on tour it was really um, it's kind of hard kind of hard to focus there's really nowhere to go you know, nowhere to be kind of like in the zone. Sometimes it works for people. For me, it's like being at home is way easier to write music. Yeah, you can just you can just focus. Zone out and get into the groove. Well, Paul, it's been a pleasure to talk Thank to you. you. Welcome back to Belfast. Appreciate it. This is Mark from Ember Rock. Trivium are on tour in the UK. They are absolutely going to kill it. But from Ember Rock, for the moment, keep her lit. Keep her between the hedges.